Hi, I'm John Harrington. Welcome to Ear IQ Soloing Strategies. Have you ever played a solo and been less than happy with the result? I have. Maybe your solo doesn't feel like it fits the song. Maybe it's too predictable. Maybe you're not engaging the audience enough. In this course, I'll open your ears wide to 10 soloing strategies that I've personally found to be most effective. We'll take an in-depth look at 10 of my solos and focus on a particular strategy for each one. I'll also provide tips for working all of the strategies into your own solos and improvisation. For example, in the first solo strategy, we'll focus on the character of the song and how to choose an appropriate sound and approach. Then we'll discover how choosing a particular style can lead you to places you might not normally go and also fit really well with the track. Next, we'll look at how the shape of a solo, the way it moves over time, can add emotional impact. Making sure your solo ends well is also critically important. We'll learn how to mix and match themes to keep the audience engaged. Then we'll take a look at how focusing on certain collections of notes can help give form to a solo. We'll also look at ways to use tradition as the jumping off point for developing your own ideas. Sometimes putting the guitar down and singing what you'd like to play can be the best choice. You'll learn to compose what you wish you could improvise to up your soloing game. Finally, we'll look at the benefits and also the fun you can have using a bit of showbiz flash when it's called for. Along with each of these soloing strategies, you'll get standard notation, tab, and all the backing tracks to work with on your own. You can also loop or slow down any of the performances to work the materials at your own pace. So grab your guitar, and let's see if we can get these soloing strategies to raise your ear IQ.